Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Now we can go back and see Bonnie. Hopefully my horse is there. Because I want to go to the general store and get some stuff. There we go. It's morning. Okay. Let's come on in. Who are you talking to? Why hello? Why hello? Something you like here. Let's sell. Let's see what you got. Goodbye. Say what you like about Drew McFarland, but he raised a proper lady. Nice doing business with you. I think I want to hold on to my gold bar, maybe. Um. So let's buy this. Snake oil refills the dead eye meter. Mm, let's buy one of those because I think that's probably going to be important. Hannigan stead. Buy that. Um, what's this? Oh, I can buy a new horse. Sweet. So the war horse is the one I have. That's apparently the best one, or the Kentucky Saddler is, so. No horses needed yet. That should do it. That should do it, sir. Well, I hope you're leaving satisfied one way or another. I'm satisfied. Um, where's Bonnie? Is she here? Is she in the barn? Let's see what you got for me. Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, rounding, rounding up the uh, that sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna get me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. Uh -oh. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think okay. we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's yep. more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. Okay. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. All right. Oh, okay. Is this? Is this not your herd? Drive them over to the pasture by the old oak tree. We'll merge them with the other herd there. Okay. Wait, I'm missing one. Where's the other one? It's getting harder to see anything. This one? Come on. 
Turn around, Cal. Turn around. Another one missing somewhere? Maybe it's just up ahead? I think we're still missing one. You turn around, cow. the only one doing the hurting. Let's go. Okay, looks like we got him. Keep going from the checkpoint. We can't let those oh cows God, die. for the cliff. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. That's right. Turn around. Alright. So I, now I just need to head back to Bonnie. I don't have to round them up. They'll, they'll just go back where they're supposed to be. Alright. Again, why am I the only one doing the hurting? Get back over here, you dumb cow.
Man, it's dark. We lost a cow somewhere. Don't worry, I got him. Turn around. Turn around. They're even sloshing as they're going through there. You can hear... Hear the hoofs. It's just sloshing in the mud. Alright, we're almost there, guys. Look at that sky. It's beautiful, but scary. for you guys want to close the gates or you know, take your time we just about lost the herd but you know no rush the herd back there you might make a decent rancher one day thank you miss McFarland that one was intense all right Let's, um... People have taken notice of your honorable what? What'd you say? People have taken notice of your honorable action. Jobs in town pay twice as much. Alright. What's this exclamation point? I want to go. I actually want to go to my house and sleep. Apparently, this thing took all day. Greetings. Let's check our chest. Get us a little bit of ammo. And now let's uh, do a sleep. What time is it? Is that 1 a.m. or 1 p.m.? One o'clock in the morning. Can I do another sleep? How do you advance time? Is it just uh, in the bed? There we go. That's what we like to see. How do you talk to people? I hear Bonnie in the background. I don't know what she's talking about, though. Okay, let's... Let's go do some stuff. Watch out, cluck cluck. Is that exclamation point just the stagecoach? No, it's still there. Let's see what this is.
It is the stagecoach. Um, but I don't think I need it. I'm just gonna go... I think I'm just gonna go to town, right? Can you sell the treasure map after you've taken your treasure? Got your treasure? <coughs> How do you set way waypoints? Is it just you you just go to the town? But like if I want to go someplace out in the wilderness, like how do I how do I go there? I have to look at my map? I don't know. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure everything out here. Sorry I keep looking at the control so much too, but like I said, it's been probably at least six weeks since I've been able to do a recording session, so I've pretty much forgotten everything that that I had had learned. So if I look at my map, what does this do? Nothing? Survivalist map? Okay. Um... Okay. Um, maybe I just had to activate those? So what's this? The shipping office? Is there something for me here? Hang on. <laughs> your, uh, your newspaper was hanging in midair, dude. Can I have one? Yeah, let me let me buy a newspaper. Let's see what's going on in the world. The Blackwater Ledger, Williamson Gang Reign of Terror. In events that hark back to our state's not-so-distant and none-too-glorious past, a gang of th thieves and killers is running amok across the western counties. Although New Austin has never been a place for the faint of heart, nor a place that encourages delicacy, law enforcement agencies are particularly worried about this new gang. Not since Dutch Vanderlyn's crew was operating... I've heard of Dutch. Oh, wait. Bill, Bill was talking about Dutch when we met him in the beginning. So he was... Uh, he was in our crew, apparently, or he was the leader of the crew, one or the other. Not since Dutch Vanderlyn's crew was operating up in West Elizabeth has a criminal group caused so much consternation nor gained so much publicity. Although cattle rustling and robberies are unfortunately still common throughout our region, the spate of killings, fires, and burnings caused by Will Bill Williamson and his gang have shocked even the hardiest and most robust of local residents. Williamson, a career criminal and reprobate with a record running back to reform school, is himself believed to have once run in Vanderlyn's gang. Dutch Vanderlyn himself has not been seen nor heard from in several years and despite claims of sightings, is thought to have perished in a fire following a bungled robbery in 1906. With railway companies and other business interests pushing local and federal government bodies to aid economic development and investment by reducing crime, it is clear that action will be taken against the latest gang attempting to live the American dream outside the law. We got an ad for plug tobacco, unequaled flavor, unequaled flavor and satisfaction, no after effects, aids digestion, vibrancy, and masculinity. Tobacco fights tuberculosis. Mm. Everywhere that fresh air abounds, man knows nothing of coughs, cold, or lung inflammations. However, as man creates cities and is herded into factories, sweatshops, mines, and mills, the soggy and unhygienic atmosphere spread the most deadly of pulmonary diseases, tuberculosis. Dr. Charles L. Heldon says workers can disinfect themselves and protect against disease through regular smoking in the workplace. <laughs> Not sure about that one. An orgy of telephones. Most miracles are spread quietly as the oak grows. 
However, the telephone has grown like a common garden weed. There are now 10 million telephones in the world. This novel vocal specter has a certain haunting charm as telephone girls work day and night asking, what number please? What man hasn't imagined the dalliances of exquisite fairies that bless the most romantic of the commercial sciences? The telephone and telegraph companies promise Blackwater skies will soon be one of wires in every direction. Truly a crystal clear and sullied future at the same time. Oh, nice. Got a little ad for a straight razor here. All you need is a few firm strokes on the strop and stubble or trouble will be held at bay. I don't know what you're trying to say to me. Warrantied best steel blade, double gimped and exquisite workmanship. Our biggest seller set and ready for use. Guaranteed to make light and pleasant work of the stiffest of beards or tax collectors. <laughs> Grave robber captured, but crimes persist. Residents of Armadillo are baffled by the mysterious and somewhat repugnant case of Moses Forth. Mr. Forth, who was recently arrested for desecrating and robbing graves, is believed to have been solely responsible for a string of similar crimes across the West in the last couple of years. Following his arrest, however, there, have, there has been a further outbreak of graveyard desecrations, leading to anxieties about who else is committing this most vile act. Mexican leader appeals for calm. Mexican President General Ignacio Sanchez, who seized power last year in a bloody coup in which he killed his own brother, has appealed for calm in the tempestuous country. General Sanchez, who was head of a Mexican cavalry division and who has studied in Spain and Bolivia, is promising to improve conditions for workers across the country while increasing suffrage. In a speech he made last week, Sanchez noted, despite my privileged upbringing, I am a true son of Mexico. But as a Mexican, I know our country needs strong leadership and this is what I intend to provide. The road for our country has never been easy, but I promise you we are now heading in the correct direction. People missing in Choya Springs. Several residents of Armadillo and the surrounding area have gone missing over the past few months and in separate incidents, but none have yet turned up either alive or dead. Local law enforcement bodies are urging residents to show extra caution when traveling in the backcountry on their own or when traveling at night. Cattle rustling worse than ever in New Austin. The poverty-stricken ranchers of New Austin have been further blighted by a ruthless band of cattle rustlers in recent months. The hoodlums, led by twin brothers Ike and Willie Bollard, have been stealing cattle throughout Hennigan's stead and then selling them at Thieves Landing, often well below market value. The gang is believed to be using Pike's Basin as its base of operations. Don't worry, we already took care of them. Me and the marshal got things under control. Oh no, what's this? Miss O'Flaher... Fl Miss O'Flaherty's? Why be vertically chested, increase horizontal bust size, confidence, and compensation? <laughs> well, so perfect and convincing when placed in the natural bust, they cannot be detected by even the most mes mesmerized gaze of gentlemen admirees. It's expensive, but your happiness demands it. Female and male satisfaction guaranteed. Sloppy mollies, dockyard oysters, a trade winner. What's that say? I don't know, something on the market. Unique texture like you've never tasted before, now with less grit. <laughs> okay. Dollar ten for six cans. The proof is in the odor. Fresh as the day they were canned. No more rubbing or paddling. A wonderful gift for the wife great mandarin washing machine no woman is complete without one don't wear your fingers out on a washboard washers washes 10 to 20 shirts with ease simply turn the handle for 20 minutes wow it'll be a good workout even the most docile housemaid can do it the most sanitary way to clean clothes super ball bearing band cylinder washing machine Perfect for boarding houses or, what's that say? Something schools. All right, where were we? Humorous cracks, jokes, arrives. Well-known East Coast wit, Jimmy Saint, who writes for a number of respected periodicals in the New York area, recently wrote to this publication seeking our advice. Mr. Saint is being dispatched to our region to try to find some wildness 
in our western states. We wrote back to Mr. Saint wishing him well, but letting him know that beyond the occasional murder, bloody shootout, or horse wrestling, very little wildness persists in the region outside of Wild West shows. Tumbleweed haunted? Following recent reports of ghost sightings in the abandoned town of Tumbleweed, visitors are continuing to tell of unnatural happenings and strange feelings. Some visitors claim to have seen spirits of the dead, other, others ghosts, still others ghouls and fairies. Our reporter on the scene found no evidence, but we urge readers to send us reports of any unnatural happenings in the area. Wonder tonic from the east, doctors worried about future. Users of a new medicinal tonic that is being sold in areas of New Austin have reported remarkable results. A one-legged woman in plain view grew back her missing limb, and an elderly man chose close to death got up and ran to the nearest brothel with, res with the resumed vigor of a 14-year-old boy. Wes Dickens patented elixir. Okay, so he took out an ad. West Dickens patented elixir claims to effect an infallible and painless remedy to virtually all known human ailments, both internal, external, and spiritual, including aches, sprains, dysentery, lumbago, paralysis. What's that? Chilblains? What is that? Malaria, genital debility, rickets, and depressed humors. The tonic, which is the result of years of research combining ancient wisdom from the East and scientific investigations from universities across the land is being hailed by its distributor as the greatest medical discovery of our time. All right, let's see what we got our, under miscellany here. Cart race to be held at Gap Tooth Breach. Date to be announced, large cash prize winner takes all. Furs and pelts won at excellent prices offered. River traders, pawn shop thieves landing New Austin. Horse deeds for sale, beautiful Cleveland Bays. Standard bread Pintos and Tursks, among others, McFarland's Ranch General Store, Hannigan New Austin. The marriage is announced to be solemnized of Miss Molly Brannigan, daughter of Cole and Ella Brannigan, to Mr. Melvin Brannigan. Ew, no. Son of Cole and Ella Brannigan. Oh, no. She's marrying her own brother. I didn't want to read that. Young boy missing, Ralph Anderson, age eight years. Please contact Grace Anderson of Armadillo with any information as to his whereabouts. Animal bait for sale, attracts all attracts all prey, big and small. Manzanita trading post, tall trees, West Elizabeth. Beds available at Ridgewood Farm, Troy Springs, very reasonable prices. The old west ways is the best ways. All right. Nice. All right. So we got the newspaper. Let's go ahead and take... I just stepped all over your papers, sir. Let's take this. Put it away. How do you put... Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Hi. Howdy, friend. Hey there. <laughs> Hi there. If you threaten someone with your gun or knife, you can rob them, taking any cash or items they have on them. If anyone sees the robbery, they will likely run to tell the law about it. Well. But what if I rob them accidentally? Who are you? Where? Okay, that. I thought you just put me in the middle of a cutscene. That was. I didn't like it. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.